Okay, let's call this meeting to order. It is a uh, survey committee meeting to review the current content of the commission survey. I hereby call this meeting to order at six o'clock. Now, Dylan, I don't see anybody from the public on. Is there anybody in from the public in the office? There is no one from the public at Kapalama Hale. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and talk as a uh, family. Oh, um, Commissioner Melendez? Yes. One correction. Um, Patrick Smith is here, and he is a member of the public tonight, um, but I think Commissioner Melendez was asking for public concerns. Did you have anything you'd like to? Here for the yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll follow your agenda. Thank you so much. And also, uh, Mr. Clark. Yes, I'm here. <clears throat> Thanks, Bill. We're good to go, uh, Commissioner Melendrez. Okay, let's go ahead and follow the agenda. I'll pull that up. Dylan, thank you very much for putting this together for us. I appreciate it. No problem. Just so there's no feedback, I'm going to mute us in person until there's someone um, with their hand raised. But feel free to call on us anytime if you need anything. Great. OK, uh, this is the survey committee meeting. Uh, first item on the agenda is to uh, the decorum. Anyone wishing to speak, just raise your hand, just to direct it to my attention, and you'll be called upon. Uh, you have two minutes to speak. Public testimony taken at the beginning of the agenda items. Please silence all electronic devices. And uh, we've called this to order. Now we have uh, public concerns. Do we have anybody in for public concerns? Okay, hearing none, I'll proceed. I'm gonna review now the update to the commission survey. Um, Dylan, do you want me to share or do you wanna share it? Let me see if I can- um, if, you have it, if you have it readily available, It'd be easier. Yeah, I can share. Thank you. Got it. Okay, sharing is up. Okay, can everyone see my screen? Make it bigger if we need it. Okay, this is the updated, this is updated as of today. Uh, first up, we have the cover memo. You all have seen this before. Um, one thing I uh, specified in this cover memo on uh, fourth paragraph down is that we are gonna deploy MailChimp. So MailChimp is gonna be the item that we're gonna use to provide the survey. Right now, what we're gonna go over is the content, the material content of the survey. Um, after we do receive back the information, we'll be uh, sharing with the commission, uh, the uh, survey committee and the commission, and the net result will be the post the aggregate in data and graphic and statistical represent representation on the neighborhood neighborhood sorry long day neighborhood commission office website. Okay, let's go down to the first item here. Uh, preface. Uh, once again, we're just very thankful that we have such a great uh, neighborhood board system. And I just thank everyone for the care, consideration, recommendation concerning uh, the survey and supporting the commission. 
uh, one, and then item two, uh, purpose. We're gonna use this as a MailChimp survey. So today we're gonna talk about content. We're not gonna talk about the, uh, the technical side of MailChimp, okay? The net here would be to gain a greater understanding of who we are, our interaction in the community, recommendation for improvement, disseminate the gathered information of the boards and to the communities. The plan, we're gonna develop, right now we're gonna talk about the content of the survey, but it would be go out via MailChimp to each board. And uh, MailChimp, what we do is code each one so that a survey will go out in various uh, email to a board so we know what board actually has the survey. So the response that we get back, we'll know what board it is. But the, the responses may come back uh, anonymous, which is fine. We're just looking for data. Online and questions answered. The questions submitted via mail, uh, MailChimp may be slightly different than what we're gonna see tonight. The results of MailChimp will be pr provided to the survey committee the commission and output and data and graphic representation and post it on the NCO website. Um, this is an item that we talked about before. The answer that we serve back, received back from the uh, neighborhood boards in the survey may be considered by the neighborhood plan commission committee. Uh, we're not the neighborhood plan committee, that's up to them. Uh, we're gonna have a, quite a bit of data. They may consider using some of the items for updating the neighborhood plan, that's up to them. Okay, we're just giving them data. Uh, neighborhood, the commission survey has endeavored to solicit data to consider items which may provide insight. So we're looking for is the data to provide insight to improve communications and performance of the neighborhood board system, which is the commission, neighborhood boards, and the NCO office. Okay, before I get into the, uh, the content of the survey, is there any questions on the first two sheets? On the cover memo or the preface? I have a question. My hand is raised. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm my screen's full. Uh, you are? My hair. Oh, hi. Yeah, please go right ahead. Okay. Um, I would like to know why this cover letter is being um, why the cover letter is being sent when it is sent from the committee to the neighborhood boards. Should this courtesy. cover letter not be sent from the commission instead of a committee? Isn't uh, that the proper procedure? As I know, this should come out of committee to the commission before it's even sent. This is not specified in the neighborhood plan. If Cheryl Sherwood would like to do that, that's just fine. Okay. Um, I can't see this, Stephen. It's kind of small. Which one? I'm so sorry. Wait, wait. Okay, no. Okay, so um, because this cover letter has, um, it's just coming out of the committee. So proper procedure would be for it to come out of committee into the commission. The commission votes on it to approve it and then forwarded from the commission out to the neighborhood boards. Is that correct? Um, whichever way that Cheryl Sherwood would like to run it. Okay. Um, the neighborhood plan does not specify. Cheryl Sherwood, are you in the room? Is he? I can't see. Do you want Where to comment on that? It's up to him. I don't want to, whichever okay. way he wants to run it, this is just to cover a memo. It's not content. So whatever way you want to, the commission wants to play it out, it's fine with me. Okay, anything Barbie. on the page two? Can I see, Barbie. where are we? Kapalama? Okay, hold on. Cheryl Sherwood, can I see you? Or can I see? Yeah. Sorry, let me try and fix that. Uh, but yeah, okay. Cheryl, Cheryl is here. Thank you, Proceed. Okay. Well, what I was going to say is, is that uh, for distribution, I'll just work it out with the commission in terms of how they normally uh, send stuff out. Whether it, it's a, a note from me or the committee, you know, I don't have any strong preference, but uh, I'll just follow their lead in terms of distribution because they need to be able to ship it out appropriately and receive the uh, replies back. I can't see anybody. Okay, hold on. But you can hear us, right, Mahia? Yeah, okay, I can hear you now. Okay, I can hear you now, Dylan. 
Did you not um, hear uh, Commissioner Oshiro just a moment ago? Not really. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, what I said is this that uh, um, I can work with the commission when this is ready to go out. Uh, whatever is appropriate and, and simplest to do, uh, because I don't think it's you know um, uh, it, it's really to send it out and encourage everybody to fill it out and return it as required and provide the proper amount of time to do that. So, uh, so yeah, sorry, I can say Web X just blew up. You're okay. Can you hear? Uh, yeah, but Mr. Melendrez, for some reason, left the meeting and then is back. He was having some tech issues. Okay. Yep, WebEx, WebEx blew up, so I'm back. Okay. Well, what I would say is that I work with the commission to get this shipped out appropriately. You know, and we, we would like to say that you know, the survey committee work on the survey and the commission uh, approve this distribution. So I urge all of the boards to uh, review it, fill it out, and return it. Quite a, you know, whatever deadline set out. So, sure. you know, I'm not really passing judgment on Stephen's uh, cover letter. Whatever is appropriate, we'll, we'll do that in terms of distribution. Yeah, I'd like to spend time tonight on the content. The, the uh, page one and page two cover memo is just preliminary. So, if we can, just get to the content. Uh, for some reason, my camera's not working, but I will go to share. Where are we? We should be at the first page of the survey. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you all see my screen? Yes. Okay, I'm going to narrate this. Okay, survey content. This first question is the same. Second question is the same. Uh, member chair, uh, just determining um, how many we're just surveying the respondent has been a chair or a member for how many years. Um, the next item three, there's a suggestion from Chair O'Sherrill. It's been incorporated here for item three. Um, chair O'Sherrill was kind enough to give us input, and several of those items we did incorporate into this current uh, content. Uh, item four, you saw this before volunteer organizations. This is just to see. Um, how involved our people are in the community, which we're really pleased of. Uh, item four. Item five, just preference for the boards. And we know that the, the board meetings are um, virtual. That's fine. This is just a, a leftover actually from before, but it's still pertinent. What the meeting preference is for the board members. Uh, neighborhood assistance, item six. Uh, opinion. Um, there was a, a question earlier about asking uh, questions about our assistance, et cetera, how they support us. And what we're doing is doing the same thing that's happened in the last several surveys. It's always healthy to take uh, a pulse and see how we're doing. So we're just asking a question and just an opinion of how are we doing in neighborhood assistance in the plan? How are they doing in answering? They're not, how are they doing in answering questions dynamically in the meetings on the, from the neighborhood plan? Um, next item seven. Same, same, uh, just how is the neighborhood assistance doing in prep and distri distribution of meeting minutes? Uh, item eight, same question as before. Preference for the for the venue council of chairs, in-person, virtual, hybrid. Okay. Any questions on this? Okay, hearing none. Um, item nine. I'm looking at this. Um, let's see. If you want to save your, I want to get through this. Yeah. If you want to save your questions to the end, that's just fine. Whatever okay. way works out best for the commission, okay? Uh, concerning the board, the, uh, concerning board education, uh, prefer the neighbor commission provide educational seminars for the, for the members, live, virtual, hybrid. If it's all, it's for everyone, it'd be a virtual. Uh, Item 10, neighborhood commission office provides sufficient support. Are we doing a taking pulse again? Are we doing good? It's just saying little, just right, too much, et cetera. Um, item 11, 
concerning commission, commission provides sufficient support to the board's little right too much, etc. Um, item 12, training. And this is good to see what type of training. Concerning training, what areas would you like your board to receive additional training? Remember, this survey is going electronically to each board member. And they're going to provide this, they're going to input this electronically, and it goes right back to us. Okay. Um, item 13. Uh, this is a question that's been given to us several times. Uh, may do it, may not. It's not stuck in, it's not in concrete. But they'll support the commission meetings. Uh, there's been a request for this several times from um, several boards. Uh, but we do have our own system, which is fine. The neighborhood commission office, neighborhood assistance provide board meeting support up to three hours. Is this sufficient? Does it work for you? Yes or no? Okay. Item 15, assistance. Uh, this is about the meeting minutes. Spend some time on this together today with uh, OIP concerning the function of the meeting minutes is to provide it in sufficient detail uh, to provide actually the content of the meetings and of the minutes with uh, final changes to the meeting, to the minutes, pardon me, is, is up to the board members, which is fine. Okay. Um, so neighborhood board meeting minutes, is that working for you? Uh, NCO utilizes video recording summaries, preparation minutes. Is this sufficient? Once again, we're just taking pulse. How's this working for you? Agree, disagree, or what's your comment? Um, item 17, 18, 19 is kind of rhetorical. What do I like best? What do I don't like? And I recommend the following to improve the neighborhood board system. That's item 19. Um, 20 is really interesting because it's only so many minutes. I've been in uh, I've testified before the state Senate and all that uh, concerning it. And two minutes is, is really a brief time, but it's here. So the commission allows two minutes for uh, comments and the board meetings, the board, the neighborhood boards typically allow two to three minutes. Uh, we don't, we allow a bit longer, but that's up to the board. It, the main thing is to try to keep it in the sufficient time to limit the meetings to three hours. My board at Middle Malka, our meetings are usually an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half maximum. Sometimes we've gone up to three three hours where we had a lot of testimonies, but usually we're down to an hour and a half, easy. And Dylan's our neighbor assistant, he does a great job. Great, great job. Uh, NCO's contracted a little for video recordings. This is almost like the other question of three hours for meeting, amount of time sufficient for your board. And then just, Number 22 is a catch-all, additional recommendations for consideration. They can just attach whatever pages they want. Um, what I did here is just an example of a custom report that we can generate from MailChimp. You're looking, you statistics, et cetera. We can do a pie chart, we can do statistics like this. I like the pie chart myself, uh, or we may do a combination. So that's all that we have with the survey. Uh, we have simplified it, and the questions that are here um, are pertinent. There are a lot more that we did receive um, an iteration from um, during our meetings with the public or the uh, other board members. But this, this is what it's boiled down to now, to a total of 22 questions. Okay, now I'll take questions. Uh, Commissioner Melendez, can you hear us? Yes, go ahead. Okay, perfect. Um, Mr. Smith? Um, I, I just had uh, maybe a couple concerns about question number six and number seven. Just okay. in how they're they're I, worded. I can't see you, so who am I talking to? Uh Patrick Smith, sorry. Hi, Patrick. Good, good. Uh, hi. Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, just in number six, can I can I suggest that you just cut the question a little bit and say, what is your opinion of the neighborhood uh, assistant? Maybe instead of supporting your board concerning the neighborhood plan, you say something like ensuring your board follows the neighborhood plan. That's I fine. Little, I mean it's a little little change, but um, also, uh, can, can I just comment for just a moment? Any, any questions or recommendations from anyone in this meeting, please email them to me. I have a list. Okay, well, I can, I can, uh, I'm glad to do like that for you. Words. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I would like to suggest maybe a little worse of Smith of seven, but um, I can email those to you. Yeah, please. No, I, to, I mentioned before in dialogue that uh, the committee members that this is not narrative is. The question material is content uh, specific, but the narrative is flexible, and that's just fine. So I'm open to suggestions. Thank you. Thank you. I have one. Okay, next one. Um, where am I? 
identify yourself. Commissioner Bruno, yeah, I see you. Go ahead. I can't. I'm here. You can speak. No, but he recognized who's oh, speaking. Richard, Am I recognize? Richard, you're first. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, Richard, sorry. Yeah, go right ahead, please, sir. Um, following on um, Commissioner Smith's uh, concern about question seven, yes. uh, my suggestion for seven, the NAs and eight as well, and I did email that out to um, everyone. I think they should just both be deleted because they all relate to the uh, the um, proficiency or the adequacy of the mm -hmm. NAs, and we really have. Uh, nothing to say. If there are any complaints, they can be registered with the executive secretary, and it's his role, I think, to address any issues or problems with the staff. So I don't know if that's going to, if we put it in, like we're going to do something about it, but I we think just leaving it out makes more sense to me because we're not going to be able to do much about it. And we know, we'll know if there are any issues because uh, board members have no reluctance to. Uh, let the commission or the commission office, the exec executive secretary, know if they have any problems with any of the neighborhood assistants. So, for the purpose of the survey, I don't think they add anything uh, to it. So, my suggestion is that we just delete those two, your seven and number eight. Thank you. I I'll take that consideration, Cheryl. Cheryl. The, the item that I have is that to show how good our neighborhood assistants are doing, we should hit uh, a good or excellent 80% rate because we have great support. So I'm looking at fe featuring this as a positive, not as a negative. And that's that's what we should be doing. So anyway, but I'll, I'll consider that. We'll have more dialogue on that. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Brunel, you have a question? Yes, um, I disagree. I think we should omit question six, seven, and eight because it is not the it is not the responsibility of the commissioners or even the survey committee to to review or or ask for a review of the neighborhood assistance. As uh, Chair Oshiro stated, if there are any complaints or any unsatisfactory um, work going on that uh, from the neighborhood assistance um, if the boards feel that they're not getting the support that they need they can they need to call they should call to the neighborhood commission office and and speak with the executive secretary who is there who is the boss of the neighborhood assistance so i i think we should omit six seven and eight Appreciate that. Are you looking at my latest draft? Number eight is not having to do with the neighborhood assistance. That's through the council of chairs. Okay, then take out. Okay, um, then scratch number eight, but at least six and seven. I really, I strongly feel that we should, the survey committee should take out those two questions. Are you familiar with what's happened in the past? What? Yes, I've I've heard stories and no, 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 I've spoken with past, people. Look at the past surveys. The past surveys always have this type of information in there. I did. I did. I looked at the surveys 2014 and 2015, but why do we need to copy those surveys? I think that we should omit these two questions and create create a whole new survey and not Thank copy what was in the 2014 and 2015. No, what, well taken. I appreciate that. No, we did not copy anything. I just found it to be a coincidence that previous surveys also contained this information. Right. I did read those two surveys. I, I reviewed right. them several times, but I don't think it's our place. I, I don't think it's the place of, of the commission to be evaluating the employees of the neighborhood commission office. Again, if anyone has a has a complaint about the way the neighborhood assistants are operating, they should contact the executive secretary and deal directly with the neighborhood neighborhood um, commission office regarding that, because that comes down to job performance, and that's not our place to determine the job performance. Neither I don't think it's the neighborhood board board's place to determine job performance as well. Thank you. Anything else? 
Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, concerning any of the other questions, do we have any? Do we have any of the other items on the survey? Do we have any other questions? You know, Stephen, um, can I? Anyone else? Okay, can may I speak? I see another hand. Is that you, Chair Cheryl? It's Patrick and I. We we'll follow my my hands. She's on now. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Stephen, the um, the committee. There's been so many drafts um, that you sent to us. Thank you for that. But I've been trying to compare all the different drafts to look at what changes have been made, what updates have been made, and it's been kind of challenging to to look at at them all. So um, also too. Um, now that we actually have a committee of four people, I would like, I would suggest that we work more closely with you to uh, develop some of these survey questions. Thank you. Okay, Cheryl, Cheryl, and Patrick, do you have an item? Can we get it? Uh, Patrick had his hand up first. I'll follow him. Okay, um, this is Patrick, obviously, but uh, on regarding question twenty, yes, uh, about this is the, hard uh, to see. Well, tw uh, question twenty um, concerns the amount of allowance for public testimony, the increment right. of time being two to three minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I just, I don't know. This just strikes me as really uh, uh, for that issue, that issue should be left to each of the organizing, each of the bodies themselves, you know, be it the commission or the individual boards, because they, they sort of know that themselves. I mean, maybe if the commission, you know, ask this just to get a, a general sense of what's going on, but I, I'm not really, I, I'm not really seeing the value of question 20. And I, I really don't see the value of setting a time limit, you know, being, we set it for everybody. But anyway, that's just my thoughts. Thank you. Great. Appreciate that. No, I'm, I'm in concurrence. Uh, go ahead. Uh, next 1 is that you? I see 1 more hand up. Oh. Okay, I'll, uh. Go to, um. Number your number 11. Which is uh, the second relating the commission and support to the boards. Yes. Uh, question number 10 or the old 11, does the neighborhood commission office provide sufficient support to your board? And you have the responses there. The next question, your number 11, the previous number 12 concerning the commission, does the commission provide sufficient support to your board? I think the second one is redundant. I think that it should be deleted. It's the same thing. And the one is um, okay, and I, the can, I can actually rephrase that. That's fine. The previous one does the neighborhood commission provide sufficient support to your board? I think that when you make reference to that, you should just take off office, just put commission. Oh, I mean, it means the same thing. So, uh, you got two questions pretty much the same. The same. I can use speak, it. Uh, one in, so that will be your number 10. Great. Yeah, drop me an email. Thank you. Um, yeah, it is very close. I agree. And the then, difference is difference is the administrative office yeah. versus the commission board. That's the difference. Well, ten eleven thing we don't provide direct support. We provide policy direction. I think so. You know, yeah, I we think it's one of the same. So number your number thirteen and fourteen. I'm not sure if really need those two questions concerning. Number 13, um, the regular meetings of the neighborhood commission, should the meetings be supported by Olelo as with the neighborhood boards? Thing is that we already have a video of the commission meeting, so I don't know if we need to include Olelo. If what we're doing now doesn't require the need for Olelo, they're providing the same service, so I don't know if we need to ask that question. So I would suggest we delete that question. Uh, the next one, number 14, the neighborhood commission office neighborhood assistance provide board meeting support for up to three hours per meeting. Mm -hmm. Is this sufficient for your board? I think we should delete that question because mm -hmm. 
um, if it's, for example, if it's too little and they want more time, we're not going to provide it. So I think that that did, that question is kind of misleading and we shouldn't put it in there because if everybody says we need five hours, we're not going to give them five right. hours. We're already limited to three and even three hours is a long meeting. So um, um, I don't think we need that question. It, it, it might just provide confusion. That that's well taken. The board members, but it's um, it's a it's a real issue, especially with the neighborhood board and North Shore. Well, and well, we need. I I that, understand. I understand. There's a cap. That, that, that yeah, there is a that cap. Three hours, but, but, but we should know need, if other boards need more. Well, Shouldn't we know if somebody needs more support? Well, it's not saying we're going to do it. It's saying is this sufficient? Well, I don't think we should. You know, uh, lead them on to think that they could mm -hmm. get more support. Right. Right. This is inquiring to see if there are possible problems out in the field. Is it? Do you have enough time for your board? Yes or no? Well, if not that we should be aware. The commission that they need more time. Then I think that as the commission would tell them, you know, they need to look at their agendas. If they got too many things on the agenda, they may need to revise that. Right. Um, but the. I can't imagine the boards having a meeting longer than three hours. It's just too long to have a meeting, especially during the weeknights. You know, most of the boards start at six or seven o'clock and they shouldn't go longer than, you know, if we're saying four hours, I think that's that that's asking too much. So I don't think we should move off of the three hour limit. That that to me actually is pretty generous to begin with. So right. Uh, right. trying to open that up even further, I think is the wrong direction to go. Let me let me think on that. Um, the oh. chair for, for North Shore has asked that, and their meetings are longer. The reason for that is their, their area is so large, and they also have a large uh, area for uh, the Parks Committee. I think and they're involved in the environment. With the time that they should come to the commission, we can have a discussion with them, and then we can look at what uh, possible options they may have or what options we can suggest to them to to work through the problem they may be experienced because I think their their kind of problem is probably the exception rather than the rule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me look at that. Thank you. Um, and if I may speak to that too, also efficiency. You know, if they're dragging meetings on, dragging meetings beyond three hours, what is the efficiency of the board and the chair's ability to conduct the meetings in an efficient and timely manner? So do we want to have that question, that second part where it says is sufficient for your board? Do you even, should we put that on that question? What I've seen in- I don't in think so. Support, understood. Well, you know, it's up to uh, what what I'm looking at it is not from an administrative viewpoint per se in labor because I do that all the time. What I'm looking at it from is what do our boards need? How best can we serve them? If we know that if only two boards come back, one board one board out of 31 says they need more time, then we know we're doing good. But if one board comes back, perhaps we should look at that. And uh, Ms. Pahanui, which is the uh, chair for that board. Um, she's also the spokesperson for BWS. She just received an award last week from them. I think it's the manager of the year. So we're talking about people that run. She's the one that taught a couple a couple years ago um, how to run an efficient board meeting. It was great. So I understand what you're saying. So take a look at their recording in Odello. But I know uh, I've heard this a couple times, so we are going to take a look at this. Thank you. Okay, anything else? Do you... Um... Is my hand still up? I'm sorry. So, um, Stephen, the mm -hmm. the um, the draft that you put together, um, it really doesn't even pertain to the neighborhood plan. It it appears that it doesn't. Everything that I've read so far, is this more? Is this survey more like a um, survey of demographics, census? The changes that have occurred in the neighborhood is is that what the survey committee is going after, or are is the survey committee wanting to put a survey out there regarding the neighborhood plan? Thank you for that. That's a good question. The basis for the survey has been taken from the last 
it's probably eight, eight or so months from the issues from the board members and the chairs that have come before the commission for clarification and for help. So that's where you could go back and see the uh, the lineage for the legacy for this. And some of these were just came off from uh, my do my dialogue with the uh, the boards. Some of them are having to do with just uh, common sense administrative type stuff. Some of them, I, matter of fact, a couple of them I I didn't put on here, concerning also about developing uh, the uh, criteria for a uh, board having a website. We haven't even touched that here. So these are all nuts and bolts type questions. Thank you. Oh, let's see. And after we're done with tonight, no, please, everyone, just go ahead and uh, uh, email me the questions or comments you have. And the members of the committee I'll call back together in about three weeks. We should do one more meeting before we uh, before the new year. That I'd like to have it finished by the new year, by January. Uh, oh, yeah. And if things come to you later, that's fine. You can read through it later and just give me recommendations. I'd like to continue to look at it. Um, we do have two members that are not even present tonight because we are now a committee of four. So um, I think we still need to look at it again and probably do more revisions. Um, it's hard to look at it now and try to discuss it. Understood, that's fine. Okay, does anyone else have any other questions? Okay, hearing none. So I'm going to go ahead and summarize that this is still going to be in review, which is fine. That That's the intent. Do you, you know, I, I know that I sent you an email um, about um, maybe considering questions coming from the neighborhood plan committee um, before the survey committee sends out any, puts any questions in, in the survey. Um, the neighborhood plan committee hasn't met yet. And so I think that I'd like to see what the neighborhood plan committee would have to say or would want to maybe include in the survey before the survey you know, is even finished. I don't think we should hold up the survey, but I yes, I welcome anything from the planning from the uh, neighborhood plan committee. Agreed. Okay, so the, who's the chair? I think Patrick is our chair for the neighborhood plan committee. I think it. I think it would really be good if we waited to see what the neighborhood plan committee would have to say, um, because their questions would be relevant to any changes or amendments that that they're considering making to the current neighborhood plan. So that. I think we started on the survey because we had so many questions from the boards. Now we're ready yeah. to go ahead and tailor this and then send it out. And the information we get back can go, like I mentioned, to the neighborhood plan committee for consideration. So they can do it or, or not. And they may also send out something themselves, but they're, they're the neighborhood plan committee, they're not the survey committee. Right, I under I understand. I understand. So I think the collab this should be a collaborative effort between the neighborhood plan committee and the survey committee, so that whatever is the end result um, covers everything of importance that needs to be covered. It's just not another survey of, you know, not too much in with information that really doesn't have a whole mm -hmm. lot of substance. We want substance to this. I agree. This survey to date, if you go back in the last eight months, the responses from the neighborhood boards and the chairs on questions they've had, that's pretty much 80% uh, of that is in the survey. We have, we have 33 boards. Have you been able to speak with all 33 of the boards, every chair, every no. vice chair? No. Just a few. 
I get contacted quite a bit because mm -hmm. I'm chair of survey committee and mm -hmm. a lot of them know me and they know how we work. And so they ask me for things, how are we doing this or that? Mm -hmm. I give mm -hmm. them an opinion, but it's um, usually I, well, I do training too. And I also mentor some, so I usually drive them back to the neighborhood plan. But a lot of them love to come to our meetings and you've seen them at our meetings. A few, meetings. yeah, I've seen just a few that come. Um, but I'd really like, as I mentioned, I'd really like to see this as a collaborative effort between the Neighborhood Plan Committee and the Survey Committee. That's fine. Now, Patrick, are mm -hmm. you the chair? Patrick, are you in the room? Yes. How, what do you think about that idea? Well, you know, I, 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 I talked to someone uh, and, I mean, I really don't think we're going to get started until after the new year, just because of the holidays. It doesn't make sense to start already. And... Um, probably going to hit the ground at a crawl rather than a run. So I, I don't know that I think it would be advisable to wait on the neighborhood plan. Now, I haven't really done this before. I've, I've been in a lot of organizations that have done this sort of thing, but never this. So I, I'm not really sure how it works, but my initial response would be, I, I would not wait for the neighborhood planning committee. I understand the, the sentiment to ask those type of questions, but I, I just think it's way too early in that process to to kind of to you know we don't know really what we want to ask at this point other than just generalities. So yeah. um, is is Dylan is is Dylan there? D when does does is Dylan there or Lloyd or Richard? Do you folks know when a survey needs to be out? What year? What months? What by? Is there a a no, due there, date there, here? No, there is no time uh, for a survey to go out. It's really up to the commission and the survey committee. As you mm -hmm. can tell from the uh, past surveys, mm -hmm. you know they were done, you know, a number of years back. So mm -hmm. subsequent years. So uh, I think that uh, with Stephen and his chairing the committee, I think they just went off and started to try to develop a survey. So kudos to them. So whenever the survey is ready to go, when the uh, committee is satisfied and the commission is satisfied with the uh, survey instrument, then, you know, that's the time it'll go out when everybody's uh, okay with the, 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 the survey. And so that's far right. as the, my experience with the neighborhood plan, um, there hasn't been much reliance on a survey to uh, uh, receive proposals. You know, one of the things that I think we've done in the past with regard to the neighborhood plan amendments is uh, the commission office quite often has uh, suggestions only because they deal with that on a daily basis and mm, okay. where there have been problems in terms of administration, they often will have suggestions for plan changes. That's one uh, ready source of uh, plan amendments. And from the rest of the neighborhood boards and, you know, everybody else in the public, in the community, you know, uh, there typically is no shortage of uh, uh, plan uh, amendment proposals. Great. Do we lose everybody? Okay. Okay. Um, so Stephen, now that we sit on, we're on your committee, um, there's four of us, can we work closer with you to go over some of the questions that are currently on the survey? Yeah, please. Um, I mentioned we could meet again in three weeks. Okay. Uh, Dylan, look at your schedule and tell me the time frame when you can do that. Okay. In the meantime, just please email me whatever you have. And then we'll discuss that at that meeting. We'll formulate a response and move on. Thank you. Appreciate okay. your help. So, um, Stephen, so this this update that you sent us tonight, this is the one that we can work off of, right? Everything prior to this, we can disregard. Say again, I'm sorry. No, this one yeah. you have in front of you, yes. Yes, yes. okay. Draft. Okay, so everything before. else, okay. Okay. Because it's been it's been tailored to all the comments that we've had today, so we're just okay. going to go with that. We can work. We can work on this one. Okay. <laughs> um.
Um, let's see. Okay, so um, I don't have any more questions at this time since we can work, we can work on this particular draft and meet again in three weeks. Thank you. Dylan, did you look at your schedule yet? Or you just want to let me know? Oh, yeah, my, my schedule with all of my meetings is in the office. I don't have it on hand. Okay, we'll just email the members of the committee uh, ballpark in about three weeks, okay? Got it. Great. Is there any other questions from anybody? One thing about meetings, Steve, that I would suggest is, as they've done tonight, uh, you've picked a, or you've picked a, a Monday evening, and I think that works only because Monday is the only uh, night that you don't have labeled board meetings, and that's why the commission, as you know, uh, has their meetings on Mondays, is because there are no other labeled board meetings uh, right. on Monday. So, as okay. long as it doesn't you know, um, uh, conflict with, you know, the holidays, then, you know, that may be the only problem in the next month. I think it's getting real close to the holidays. So we might have to, or you might have to consider maybe January sometime. Okay, well, let's see if we can do one more. If not, we'll do it in January. That's yeah. fine. Okay. Thank okay. You. Okay. Well, that well, that'll give time for us to look it over, Stephen. I, I have some suggestions for some of the questions. Great. Okay. Yeah, Dylan, let us know your schedule, and we'll proceed accordingly. Okay. Do we have any other questions? I don't. Not at this time. Okay. Well, we have the plan. We all going to be emailing and compiling information. You're going to read read through that again. Okay. And. Uh, this draft you have in front of you today is the draft. It's final draft. So that um, we can we can work on, right? This draft. Yes, please. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I'm going to adjourn the meeting at 6:47. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Very, hope everyone. God bless. Take care. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.